just gave them, just gave them too much start? Yeah, I don't think we started on the front foot. Uh, I think they started with a lot more energy than, than us. That's something that we spoke about uh, before the game, uh, about matching their intensity uh, the first 10, 15 minutes. Uh, it, it's hard to uh, win games uh, if you give away two goals in the first 15 minutes of the game. Uh, we allowed them too much time uh, around our box and conceded two goals. Boys worked hard to get themselves back in the game, but disappointed uh, when we were attacking to concede a goal, the third goal just before half time, uh, making it 3-1, which made it a lot more difficult to, uh, to get something out of the game. So second half was a lot better, uh, but just no end product. Was it just their pace uh, or the pace of the ball movement? First half that, that caused you trouble? Or? Yeah, I just think we didn't match them with the intensity of closing the spaces and uh, dealing with 1v1 situations and uh, not being able to follow or step in at the right time. So, you know, like I said, it's, it's, hard, to, it's hard to win a game when you're 2 0 down after 15 minutes. Second half, you probably could have had at least got back to 3 yeah, 2 at the very least. But yeah, we, we worked, we changed, we changed it tactically uh, in the second half, to, or even towards the, the back end of the first half where we got a bit more joy. Uh, but like I said, we got into areas where we, we didn't have an end product and uh, didn't capitalise on the opportunities we tried to create. Clayton Lewis was replaced at half-time. Was not happy with what he was doing? Was that a tactical thing? or A bit of both. Yeah. A bit of both. Uh, I think we needed a bit more energy with, uh, with the sixes there to, to cover the ground. Uh, the way Newcastle set up today with just two wingers and, and no nine, with uh, Reno mostly playing as a ten. Uh, so it's a lot of work for the to, for the Sixers to to uh, to cover, but look, I wasn't happy with uh, the performance, so I made a change. What just like what, 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 what just lack of, for me, lack of intensity, lack of uh, the decision making with the ball. So uh, I just felt that we need to make a change and bring on some fresh legs. Did that catch you by surprise? I mean, the way they set up to start with. Yeah, look, obviously Mikel Tazio wasn't playing, so he didn't. Uh, really have an out out nine playing for them. So they just play with Reno coming off the line and trying to create an overload uh, in central areas. Uh, look, I, I think we could still deal with the situation. Uh, the way that we set up, we don't really uh, follow players. Players come into our, our spaces, but uh, I don't think we dealt with it in the sense that we had, had enough pressure on the ball and the ball carrier. And obviously, Reno and James McGarry and Josh Saturio all played for you last year and they all were fairly had crucial place, parts to play tonight. Yeah, Does that look, hurt a little bit as a coach? Yeah, look, players move on and make decisions on what they feel is best for them and look for uh, for what they've done for, for Wellington Tennis. I think they had some really good moments and they've decided to move on to Newcastle Jets. And for me, look, firstly, they're, they're good people and I think they're good players and I wish them all the best. Any injuries or anything out of tonight? Uh, not, not at this moment, no. Understood. Do you have anything? I'm in the shadow of you for the moment. All good? All good. Thank yeah, you. Thank Cheers, you. guys. Thank you.